Hi everyone, my name is Jesse and I'm a dancer with NDT2 and today I will be teaching you a fragment of Cacti by Alexander Eggman. I would recommend for you to maybe put on some knee pads because we're going to be working on our knees for quite a while. Um, this section is all about rhythm, so I'm going to be teaching it slowly to you guys, so hopefully you can follow me. And you know, in the NDT2 studios we work weeks to get the rhythm and the speed up to the tempo that it's supposed to be for the shows, but for you, a challenge to join me in the end on the run. Just try it, you can always go back, you can play in slow motion, don't feel pressure, just try and enjoy. We're going to start in this position um, and this is also a little bit the go-to position for this phrase. Um, from here we're going to start with right left over the ears and breathe in, hands go to the neck. And we're going to make a sound with that, we're going to breathe out and breathe in. So goes right left, breathe out, we're going to go over the head and place the hands on the hip and you look at it. So together that goes over here. Then we're gonna grab the elbow and we're gonna slap on the back of the neck two times and you look the opposite way. So you go one, two. If we connect that, we go right, left, over. Over, place, take the elbow, slap, slap. From here, we're gonna make three sounds. Tss, 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 and we're gonna move the arm from here. Tss, 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 and we're gonna hit the floor. So, if we connect that, we go over, you breathe out when you arrive. You take the elbow, you go slap, slap, and then tss, 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 hit. We're gonna stretch the elbows two times, grab the elbow, break, and the break sets this round motion in action. You go over and place the hands on the hips again. You look at it. So, one more time. Break, sorry, grab, break, go over, place. Then from there, we're gonna do three times uh, wrist uh, or hand repositioning on the thigh, one, two, three. You look front at the same time, then you're gonna grab the elbow again, slap, and end with a breathe out and hands in this position. So I'll repeat that one more time from, um, uh, from the elbows. We go stretch, stretch, grab, break around, place, then three times the hands, look front, grab the elbow, slap, breathe out. And this goes with kind of inward scoop. So from the slap here, your hands go inwards to arrive in this stretched position. And there's a little bit of a lean back, an inclination in the back, and a clear focus with breathing out. 
And that's kind of the end of the first uh, phrase. I'll repeat that uh, once from the beginning. So slowly, and then you get a sense of the rhythm because it is fast, and we'll hear that on music later. It is fast, but I'm gonna try to just slow down the rhythm, but keep the rhythm, um, let's say, accurate how it is. Um, we go right, left, over the ears. <laughs> over, place. Slap, slap. Tss, tss, tss. Hit. Over, look, front, grab. Mm. From there, very easy because you can make your own choices and you can improvise it. But the first time you're gonna break through and then three string, uh, let's say string sounds as you will hear in the music, you choose your own pattern of like a big wind that takes you somewhere. So only the first one you kind of break through the arms, then you have a up, you can say again, you can say down, and then the last one takes you kind of over, and you arrive with your head on the floor. So they are free for your own interpretation. There's just four very clear beginnings of a wind, and the last one will take you kind of in slow motion to the floor. And then on the music, there's a sound effect, which we will hear later. You're going to just reset in a snap to this first position. We go on from here. So from here, the first thing you're going to do is slap on your uh, rib cage on the right side. So both hands like this, but on the side of your rib cage. So here, then you're going to snap with your right wrist forward. And then you're gonna take a flower, smell, your body goes up, and present it to this side. We just do this for now. So, from here, slap on the rib cage. You can look at it. Then, your focus goes front to where you snap. You take the flower, and you smell it, and you present it kind of with a downwards um, you know, down, downwards motion, and you present the flower to the right. One more time, because it's really fast. I'll do it, not the accurate speed, but just a bit slower. We go, one, two, present. Yeah, so that's clear, right? One more time. One, two, present. Now, we're gonna take the flower, crush it, go to the right, arrive in this position, and then break through. So it's a little bit of going back and forth here, but it's important that you connect the motion and you never really stop until you're here for a second. So from here, slap, snap, present. You're gonna go crush, and here, and then push. And this push, continues with another kind of breath that takes your right arm up and lands on the shoulder. But we go until there. So from this slap, we go one, two. Present. Now, left hand crushes. Go here, you wait a second, then you push, and then another breath takes your arm up, lands on the shoulder. Now, we have really simple, but I'll show it as best as I can. We're gonna go on top of the arm and back, and as much as it's a movement of the hand or the arm, we wanna actually think that we engage it with our right shoulder blade. So from here, we're gonna engage the back and the shoulder blade as we try to make the sound of the friction of our hand on our arm. So from the breath that takes the arm up, land, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then four that go to the side, slap, slap. So in total we do eight, uh, sorry, we do 12 in total. Eight 
that point towards the front, and four that gradually go to the side. So in this uh, motion, the sound of the friction of your hand is more important than the sounds of your mouth, because you do breathe out with those moments, but you want to focus on creating the sound with your hand and your arm. I will repeat this phrase once from here, a little bit more in the accurate timing, so you get a sense of the flow of the phrase. So I'll recap, we just landed with our head on the floor, we're gonna reset in a snap, and then we're gonna go one, two. Present, crush, over and push. Another breath and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, slap, slap. Yes. So, almost there. From here, really simple, we have nine slow counts to make one continuous round movement ending here again. I will show you. So from here, we're gonna start with going up and over. So one, two, three, four. Your kind of hands are connected. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You arrive in this position that we're already familiar with from multiple times in the beginning. This, so one more time, we've arrived slap, slap, proud position. We're gonna go up and over. One, two, three, four. Your hands are connected here. Big circle, five, six, seven. Fingertips connect, eight, nine. And these are very clear counts which you will hear in the violin music. So we've arrived, nine. Now, We'll continue. And as the arms go over the head, I will go slowly, your head dives under an object. So you're gonna go one, two. You arrive with this fist position, a little bit like you're about to ride a horse or something. So from here, your hands go like over your head and arrive here, and your face dives under an object. So at the same time, it becomes kind of like this. You can also think that you break with your head again, the structure of your arm. So you go through and arrive. And there's a nice uh, motion in the body there that creates a very round and um, smooth roll. One, two, arrive here. Now very much, um, very static we're gonna do this little bouncy thing with the wrists. So your hands replace each other. So it's like, you know, these, these balls that, you know, they replace each other. It's kind of this uh, effect that we're creating. So we go one, two, very fast and very precise. So rhythm wise, we will go under, arrive, boom, boom. And then same speed, same tempo, we're gonna go boom, boom. So as the right arm is touching the shoulder, the left hand is grabbing the elbow, and we're gonna go left, right. And that's in the same um, dynamic and the same quality as the little ball moment. So we go boom, 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 boom. So it's really fast. From here, we go under, front. Boom, 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 boom. Now, over, in, stop. So that's like one fast continuous motion. So you go over and here. Now you're gonna do a little swan lake. You're gonna hit the floor, um, you know, behind you. And we're gonna go until there for now. So we've arrived, let's say, um, let's say that we've arrived here after the slap slap. We have nine counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, arrive. Now we go under, stop. Boom, 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 boom. Now over, you grab something, 
stop, a little swan leg, slap. Now, we're gonna snap with the right arm here and look to the right too. So you go opposite of where your hand goes. So we go one, two with the left. I have to do it once fast, so I teach you the right thing. One, two, three, and four, yeah. So we go one, two. Now we're gonna slap with the left hand on the arm. We're gonna go up, which you snap with the right hand, and then place down on your knees. So if I just focus on the arms now, um, from the swan leg, you're gonna hit the floor. Immediately you're gonna go right, left, slap, up, down. And that's kind of the rhythm that you want to create. You wanna go right, left, bum, bum, bum. So right, left, bum, bum, bum. And this motions with the arms, actually all of the arm movements, you can think that they grow and they ignite from the back. So they're not just you know, in front of you and just simple arm movements, you can really think that they, um, you know, they start from your shoulder blades and from your back. So then the, the movements become richer. So even if this is a simple snap, you can really think that your shoulder blades are helping you to make this big and, um, you know, uh, rich. So one more time, the rhythm you want to create is one, two, Slap up, down. So as you go up, you snap. There's also a little release of the head up before you go down. So one, two, da, pa, pa. I'm repeating this because it's, it's quite tricky. So I hope you get the rhythm of it. So from there, we're in this position still. It's a lot for your knees, but it's nice when you do it. So from the swan leg, you hit the floor, you go one, two, one, two, three, then over and arrive. So from the cross of your arms, you're just kind of gonna unwind your arms with a motion in the body that goes over, arrive. That's very simple. So from the one, two, one, two, three, you're gonna just, boom, replace. We're almost there. So from here, we're gonna have three knocks on the floor. So we're gonna go one, two, three. You're gonna place like very detailed your hands on the floor, starting from the tip of your fingers. So one, two, three, place, place. And then you're gonna go over and go back to the left side. So the idea is that you go from left to right and then you reset. So we're starting the knocks here after we've reset, stop. We're gonna go one, two, three, place, place, and then over here. So we're really using the detail of rolling from the fingers down and then having that as an anchor point to like reset. So your fingers kind of stay in you know, connection to the floor. Um, and we do that twice and it's really fast. So we'll go, Pa, 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 place, place, over, stop. Pa, 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 place, place, over, stop. And that's kind of the rhythm. And that connects immediately from what we did before. So I will go once from after the slow nine counts when we arrive here. We go under, stop, ball, ball, boom, boom, go over, in, Stop, swan leg, and smack, huh, 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 huh. Go unwind, pa, 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 place, place, over, stop. Pa, 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 place, place, over, stop. So I hope that's clear. I, I think that it's important here again that not just it's a movement of the hands or the arms, but there's this, the body is kind of being pulled from different strings. So in all of these movements, these are like, you know, your legs are connected to the floor, but your upper body is kind of free to really be 
pulled in different directions. So even if we have this you know, restriction of being connected to the floor, how much can your chest and your upper body uh, help to make this movement very clear? So from pa, 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 place, place, I'm already assisting with my upper body. And then there's a big, almost delay of the upper body. So the arms take me there and the body reacts to it. So I hope that's clear. We're almost at the end. For, very simple from the last time that we go over, arrive here. We're gonna make a big circle with the right hand and we're gonna collect. Your hands are kind of in this position on the floor. So we connect here, then we're gonna go right, left, hit the floor. We're gonna go right, left, and then a big jazz hands and stop, hit the floor. And that's the end of the phrase for today. <laughs> so after we have the knock, 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 place, place, over, breathe, pa, 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 place, place, over, breathe, Big circle with the right hand and collect to this side. So this position on the floor. And you want to think you're collecting, let's say, a big you know, pile of uh, sugar or powder. Just really collect it here. Then from here, we're going to look at the hands and hit the floor behind you. And your other hand is kind of in this, uh, I would almost say, like, help position. like this. So you really want to use also your upper body again. And then from here, we just have a jazz hands like reaching out and hit on the floor. So that will be like the end of this phrase. So even though it's really fast, you want to engage like these side muscles for you to really be able to switch really fast from side to side. So. So this is really important because it is really fast. We're going to go collect and pa, pa, boom. So even though it's fast, we want to create this little moment of suspension with the jazz hands before we hit on the floor. So it's like taking a big, big breath before you will dive into the water. So, so. All right, so we're gonna go one more time from the beginning slowly and um, so you'll be able to follow me. So we go right, left, over. <laughs> Grab, slap, slap, pss, pss, pss. hit. Around, place, look, front, grab. <laughs> then we have the four violin strings and we go break through around, improvise, and whoa, on the floor. Then we have reset in the snap, boom. We have a little music intro, and then we're gonna go. Clap, snap. Present, now crush, go to the right, and in the middle, push over, and go one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and slap. We have nine slow counts to go around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, touch the fingers, eight, nine. We stop. Little music intro. We go break through. One, two, boom, 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 boom. We go over, in and swan leg and slap snap snap bum 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 unwind bum 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 place place over bum 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 place place over collect the sugar slap slap members of out orchestra
thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. Um, this video is part of a series of tutorials by NDT dancers, so feel free to join the other workshops and enjoy.